Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Pagan Perspective Subs Week on Monday. I will be your new host on Monday for the next year or so. Brandon and I switched places, so you can see his video this Thursday. This week's question comes from Nathan's Necessities. They are basically a Wiccan in a small town, very dominated by Christian ideology, and have had some very difficult experiences, including having their parents uh, perform an exorcism on them when they were nine for seeing a spirit. So the question boils down to how do they show their parents and their friends and community that Wiccans aren't evil and what they're really about, or if that isn't possible, then how they hide their rights and beliefs. I'll start by saying that it is not always wise or easy to share your spiritual beliefs or practices with everyone around you. And when you're still under the control, essentially, of your parents and your hometown, it can be wiser to just play things a little bit quieter. Not because you shouldn't speak up for what you believe in or that your beliefs are wrong, but there's also something to be said for observing and honoring the culture that you come from. <clears throat> you don't have a lot of power in that relationship and it might be the best thing for you to keep those beliefs and practices hidden for a while. It is never a must that you share your beliefs and practices with everyone at every time in your life. Ways of hiding beliefs and practices. Keeping things as simple as possible. So making sure that most of your rites and practices are done outside whenever possible with minimal tools. You don't need a lot of stuff, even if you're Wiccan. Um, the stuff, the tools are just extras. They're like bonuses. They're really nice and some people love them, but completely unnecessary. If you are doing all of your practices and rites outside, there is less chance of your parents walking into your bedroom when you're doing something. So just start getting into the practice of going on a regular walk every Saturday, every Tuesday, and your parents won't think it's unusual when you go out on the full moon for a walk. You can also only borrow library books, not buy them, so you don't have anything on your bookshelf that seems unusual. There are lots of resources online, plenty of ways for you to uh, enhance your practice with new ideas without kind of holding on to evidence. I think though really the most profound way that you can share your beliefs and practices and you know, encourage your family and friends to see you for who you really are, is to take your practice into your daily life. If you are fighting for injustices, if you are researching environmental concerns, if you are you know, trying to embody the goddess and God that you believe in into your daily practice, in whatever way that might mean, by being extra kind, by being strong and firm for yourself but still compassionate, whatever that belief means to you, if you take that into your daily actions as much as possible, people will notice. And you don't have to, you know, explain a lot of details about where this is coming from. You just have to be yourself and you just have to live your belief in a really profound and intimate way. It's so easy in a small town to feel like you have to agree with everyone on whatever topic is at hand. It can be really difficult to speak up against kind of the rote patterns that happen in small towns, but it is so worth it if you can be like, mm, I don't quite agree with you on that topic. I think you should investigate X, Y, and Z. So my advice is if you feel like you have to hide it, keep things really simple spend more time in nature, avoid tools or owning books at the time, just kind of keep things really low key for a while. If you want to share your beliefs, I think the most profound and 
efficient way of doing this is really living and embodying and speaking up for your beliefs in the mundane world. So environmental justice, those sorts of things. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. In the comments below, I would love to hear your no tool, low key kind of ideas for holding ritual. Have a fabulous week and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.